hello guys welcome back again to my channel and welcome to vlog 52 so we're gonna start by throwing a surprise birthday party to takumi she turned 30 today and she was super excited super happy we all came to ringside and we celebrated with her and it was just fantastic then i came home went to bed the next day it was time to run and I'm so sad to say this is my last outside run in Japan, literally. I Well, I didn't even know it was gonna be my last one, honestly. But um, then I found this pathway, like I always come here and every time I take a new route because the park is so big. So I found this cute way to go from like where I usually run, like with the beautiful view, to where you have these, um, school student that come and train and run track and field right here and i thought it was pretty cool so i wanted to share it anyways um this is early morning today is my last match day in japan and we have a show in um okahoma okayama guys listen you know i'm not good with names <laughs> but um yeah, we got there super um, early, like an hour and a half earlier than what we we're supposed to, which is totally fine with me. Honestly, I had time to sit down and eat um, breakfast in the in the bus. And um, after that, we put the ring together. And I'm showing you guys today my Ribera steak jacket. So cute. I have it in silver and I have it in gold. And you guys will see the gold one later. So I just dressed up really casual, very cute, very, very comfy as well. Because it's going to be a very long day. And I'm wrestling Unagi today. Um, I put my gear on and uh, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm such a mess sometimes. I didn't know it was that time of the month, like almost that time of the month. So I was like man my boobs are so big now like what happened no it's it's fake big and then we started like <laughs> don't ask us what we were doing we were um started walking around to calm our nerves down but at the end it was super duper fun and um when the match started like i was nervous but as soon as you know they ring the belt and things start and i'm like I got this. Look at me being so excited about my boobs. <laughs> Jump on Japan! Last match in Japan. Back in the USA next week. Thank you, Japan. Thank you. Thank you, Aicha. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then after my match, um, it was the main event and uh, Rin Sang, um, she was one of Malvera's players, retired, and they were celebrating that as well. Um, then after that, we took the ring um, down. Look at Nangayu san she's still helping. This woman is a legend here and she's still helping. So I pulled her in the back. I was like, I want you to take a picture with this jacket finally because we got it together. We have to take a picture together. Then I can get the jacket, okay? Then Maria was like, I want to take a picture too. So I was like, come on, let's take a picture. And um, after that, we packed up and we went home. And I'm not going to lie, I was super emotional because I got these pictures from the fans um, on my way home. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to miss this place. Mio, why are you so short? What? Oh, tall. Same. Same. <laughs> Same. Mio and I, we decided to do some shopping and I'm gonna buy some matcha to take it with me in the u.s and then after we finished shopping we decided to stop at this restaurant and eat and i'm so glad we picked this one instead of the pizza restaurant because it was really really good so, we just ground this thing like that mio can you see hi you ground it all the way <laughs> and then after you add your no soy sauce and boom that's it <laughs> listen y'all it's so funny how 
two people that don't speak the same language at all can communicate so well and get along so freaking good and one thing i love about mio she's very patient when it comes to understanding people and the pace and you know um changing environment she's very down on earth like the sweetest person ever and um i love her for it so after we finished eating we came out and then we saw this um potato guy right in front of the mall and we decided to stop here and get some potatoes before our taxi um gets here What are you doing in my room? Tomorrow you go back. I know. Me sado. You sado? Yes. Why? Tomorrow you go back, America. No, me stay. Ah, okay. Okay. Please. Uh, me stay, you cook every day. Okay, okay. And uh... Nato, nato. Nato, cook. No. <laughs> nato, nasty. Bye bye. Kawaii! Also that night, uh, we went out with the fans again to eat and they wanted to say, you know, thank you and goodbye Cheers. before Cheers. I head I back to the United soon. States of America. Bye -bye. And the food bye -bye. was really good. It was um, an Italian restaurant. And um, guess what? I am here again with Momono Mio. We call ourselves food buddy and matcha friends because we always eat together and we always drink our matcha together and we always get the matcha gift at the same time like literally that's so cool anyways we went to bed and the next day we woke up and we went back again shopping because i wanted to buy more masks and I was like, you know what, let's just go before I head to the airport because my flight was in until 6.45 p.m. So we did that and then we stopped at Starbucks and we enjoyed it and we came home and Mio was just being crazy. and <laughs> She's just being Mio <laughs> with her dogs and um, Maria. And this is me in my room, done packing. And I, was, I wanted to sit here and take a picture to use it as a thumbnail. But I ended up not using that, honestly. But I was like, you know, this is a cute video. Just look at me. <laughs> and finally, we took off to go to the airport. And Mio came with uh, me and Shihosan and Maria. And that car ride was so freaking funny. Because they were talking all Japanese. And honestly, I fell asleep. I literally fell asleep while they were talking. And Mio woke me up and she was like, what And I'm like, you guys are speaking Japanese. I'm bored. She's like, you never said that you were bored except today. Yeah, because I'm leaving today. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> and then we finally came here. And, um, 6.45. I checked in and I asked uh, Shihosan to take our picture, but she took a video. And we all thought it was a video, literally. I mean, a picture, literally. So we were just standing there looking so freaking stupid. Medium. Medium. Large. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Together, picture. Ah, YouTube only. Yeah. <laughs> and we decided to have my last meal in japan here at the airport before taking off so we stopped at this ramen place and um shihosan bought food for all of us and we sat there and talk and look at each other and ate and laugh and talk about all the good times that we spent together and they kept telling me please come back soon please come back soon and i'm like Yes, I will definitely come back very soon. And this is the saddest part ever, <laughs> saying goodbye. Like it breaks my heart, but I have to go. And like, just look at the love, I will. Like, oh. See you soon. Mm. It's hard. It's, it's not easy. But that's life. Anyways, I came to Chicago and my flight from Chicago to Columbus got canceled, so I couldn't go home until the next day, they said. So they booked me a hotel 
and they gave me a voucher for food which was super good um so i stayed at the hotel instead of getting home the same day so i have to wait until the next day so i showered then went downstairs um, in the restaurant ordered my food and um, i was super sleepy but i was so hungry at the same time because the food that they served on the plane was not good at all and at one point they gave me pork which i don't eat so you know, that, that was too bad but um i'm glad they gave me this voucher because i needed this steak i wanted this steak this steak is juicy just like queen aminata <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop telling jokes um and go to bed <sighs> it has been such a long two days basically and uh, my alarm is set to 5 30 so i can be at the airport latest by 6 30 and go home <laughs> Next day, up super early at 5 a.m. to catch my flight back to Columbus, Ohio. I'm so freaking relieved and happy. I miss my bed, miss my house, miss the food, miss my cars, miss everything. And finally, Queen Aminata is home after two long, exhausting days. Ah, thank you guys for watching my journey um, to Japan. Thank you guys for subscribing. And please do not forget to like, subscribe again and again and again. And thank you guys. Thank you very, very juicy much.